Hello everyone and welcome to the brand new Talking Tungsten podcast. I'm your host Kurt from MatadorDarts.com where this podcast is going to be hosted. We've created this podcast as a dedicated darts equipment podcast. As you may know, darts fans absolutely love to talk about equipment. So we decided to create a podcast based purely around that. What we're going to do is we're going to be talking about brand new product releases, products of the past, products players are using, products fans are using trends within the darts world in terms of equipment and also a lot lot more as well you'll be able to listen to the podcast on both youtube and spotify as i said this is the first podcast and unfortunately i am going to be just hosting it by myself but we have lots of talking points to discuss lots of exciting things going on in the world of darts in terms of darts equipment at the moment so hopefully this podcast won't be too boring for you guys and uh, if you didn't notice, uh, if you haven't seen today, um, today was the new Michael Smith launch from Shot Darts. Their new range of darts for Michael Smith was released today. Uh, it was announced as a Shot player a couple of weeks ago now, I believe. And um, today was the launch. I'm actually recording this pre-launch, but I am fortunate enough to get some information about the products before they do release. So a huge thank you to everyone that's helped me out in terms of getting information. Um, I've also tried my best, obviously, not to leak any information. I do want to respect, you know, Shot Darts and um, their release as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss a little bit about the new darts that are coming out, the new equipment, um, some information that I have seen on various interviews from Michael Smith about the new darts and the new range, and um, then we're going to go over some of the stats and dimensions of the range as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully a little bit of insight into the Shot Darts range. Um, obviously as this is a podcast I don't have any visuals but um, if you do want to see the darts closer up if you want to see some nice pictures of the darts make sure you go and check out premierdarts.co.uk I believe they will have most of the new Michael Smith range on there uh, you can buy them on there as well the only information I don't have at hand is uh, the prices of the darts so um, unfortunately you're going to have to wait and see but as I said before if you want to go and check out premierdarts.co.uk uh, all of the information will be there as well so we're going to start off with the Michael Smith Achieve Darts, 90% Tungsten. I believe these are the ones that he was using on the most recent Euro Tour and World Series events. Uh, the retail version does look slightly different. Michael Smith's darts are made ever so slightly differently, not in terms of cuts, but in terms of just the, like, you know, the laser etching and also the paint, I believe. Um, he did sell Peter at Shot Darts that he, they have to be boring for him because he doesn't like an overly fancy dart. Uh, he also mentioned in an interview that the laser engraving on the darts are slightly different for his personal set. So if you're ever lucky enough to get your hands on a set of Michael Smith match used or match issue, I suppose, darts, um, they will have a different laser engraving on them, which goes to show that extra sort of, you know, assurance that they were going to be his darts or they were his darts that he's used. I'm not 100% sure how many of each set Michael Smith has, but he did say he has 20 sets of his darts. So obviously the Achieve darts, which I believe are the closest ones to what he actually throws with. He has 20 sets, 18 sets of which are 24 grams. And interestingly, two sets of them are 26 grams. He said in case he sort of, you know, drops off and wants to switch something up, um, he said that he might try out the 26 gram darts. So they probably look the same. So it might be quite difficult to um, notice if he ever does switch. But um, yeah, it's quite interesting to know that his match set is 24 grams, but he might switch up to a 26 if um, he feels things aren't going his way. Another thing about these achieved darts is Michael Smith said he wanted them the exact same dimensions as his previous unicorn darts. Uh, we'll get onto the dimensions a little bit later on, but. Um, yeah, he said he wanted these to be the exact same dimensions. What I will say is the darts do vary in length and diameter uh, when it comes to the different weights. Sometimes what you will see from retail versions of darts is they're all the same length and they change in width. But um, with these, they change, you know, give or take in both directions, I believe, to try and keep the same balance point. So that might be the reason why. Um, as we're talking about the achieved darts, we'll also go over some things Michael Smith has also said about his new darts. Um, as I said before, he said to Shots that he is, you know, wants to be boring. He wants his sort of, you know, normal boring sets of darts. He doesn't want to change too much in terms of that. Um, he received the darts four months ago, so but he only started actually practicing with them after the World Cup. Um, he had like, you know, a lot of respect for Unicorn after being there for such a long time. He said that he wasn't going to, you know, switch darts in practice because he still had, you know, tournaments to win for Unicorn. And that was his mindset. So, you know, pretty loyal in terms of his loyalty to Unicorn darts, which I think is fair enough because he was there for a very, very long time, basically since the start of his career. 
Um, on top of you know the different laser etching, uh, Michael Smith also said that his points and also his flights won't be available for retail. So there will be a version of Michael Smith flights available for retail, but they won't be the same ones that he uses on TV. Once again, I believe it's just because it, you know it's more personal to him, and uh, if people are lucky enough to get a match use set, you definitely know they're going to be a match use set because they are only produced for him. Another thing that was interesting to mention was he did say, obviously coming into a new manufacturer, a different DAR as world champion, he said that Adrian Lewis done the exact same thing. He was with Unicorn, switched to Target, and won back-to-back -back world championships, the first one with Unicorn and the second one with Target. So again, another really good point there that it is possible to you know, change darts and still win back-to-back -back world titles. Um, although I do believe Adrian Lewis's darts didn't actually change in terms of a you know manufacturing perspective too much i don't think they've changed as much as these ones but if it's got the same balance point the same sort of level of grip same grip points uh you know same dimensions it's going to be pretty hard to go wrong and he's already hit a couple of uh, ton plus averages with these darts anyway so you know they're going to go pretty well for him moving on from the achieved darts which are michael smith's match darts we do have another three 90 percent tungsten darts we have the Believe darts, which are actually very similar to the Achieve darts. They're just a front-loaded version, so um, they're a bit wider at the front and uh, narrower at the back. Michael Smith said this was because shots have quite a big you know, target market in America, and a lot of Americans throw front-weighted darts, so the idea behind that was just to create a couple of front-loaded versions of the darts that Michael Smith uses, just because it helps them sell more darts in America, basically, for those who want those front-loaded darts. Again, we'll go into the stash and dimensions a little bit later on. But yeah, the Believe darts are basically a front-loaded version of the straight barrel Michael Smith Achieve match darts. We then have the Defiant darts, which are more of the fancier dart. They're not going to be the darts that Michael Smith uses, but they're within the range. They're a bit fancier. Um, they're sort of mostly red-coated with a bit of black and also some silver recuts as well. And again, they are 90% tungsten. That is a straight barrel version. Features, from what I can see, a nice sort of level of ring grip. And then we also have the Tenacious darts, again 90% tungsten, and these are the front-loaded versions of the previously mentioned Defiant darts. So there's only really two sort of sets of darts with two different types of models, but they just go by four different names. So there's a front-loaded version for each of the Achieve and the Defiant darts, and they are just named differently. So yeah, a little bit confusing, especially if you're only listening to this, but obviously once you see the darts yourself, uh, you will understand it a little bit better. Also being added to the range is a Michael Smith Precision range. Uh, this is an 80% tungsten dart, uh, no paint on it or coatings at all, just a simple silver natural tungsten dart. Um, looks very, very clean actually, looks quite a nice dart, I think that will probably be very, very popular. There's also going to be a Michael Smith brass dart, there's going to be some cases as well, and in an interview Michael Smith also mentioned that there'll be more stuff as well, like cabinets, I believe a dart board, um, and a few other bits and pieces as well on top of his range. What was interesting was if there is going to be a shot dartboard for Michael Smith, um, shot makes some really good dartboards, so it'd be quite interesting to see how good they come out and uh, how popular they are as well. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over some of the dimensions for the darts. If you want to go and see them for yourself, as I said, go to premierdarts.co.uk. So the Michael Smith Achieve darts, so the ones that are very, very similar to his match darts, they'll be available in the biggest range of weights, which is every weight from 21 to 26 grams, so 1 gram increments. Uh, they're also available in soft tip in 18 and 20 grams. Uh, the 21 gram version is 6.4 millimeters by 47 millimeters, and the 26 gram version is 6.8 millimeters by 51 millimeters. So there's a bit of leeway both in the length and the width of the dart. Uh, and as I said before, 18 gram and 20 gram soft tip as well. I don't believe the soft tip versions are being sold on Premier Darts, unfortunately, so you're going to have to go elsewhere to try and find those. The Believe Darts, which as I said before, are the front loaded version of the Achieve Darts. They come in ranges from 22 to 26 grams, again up at 1 gram increments and also in soft tip at 18 and 20 grams. The 22 gram version is 7.1 millimeters by 45 millimeters, and the 26 gram version is 7.5 millimeters by 49 millimeters. So again, a little bit longer, a little bit wider for the 26 gram version, and um, there's a bit of difference in you know each of the darts on the way up through the grams. Michael Smith Defiant darts. These are the red coated straight barrel versions. These come in ranges of 22 to 25 grams, again up in one gram increments, so four different weights. Uh, the 22 gram version is 6.4 millimeters by 49 millimeters, and the 25 gram version is 6.7 millimeters by 51 millimeters, once again also available in 18 and 20 gram in soft tip. 
The Tenacious Darts, which are the front-loaded version of the Defiance, are available in three different weights, which are 23, 24 and 25 grams. Also available in 18 and 20 gram soft tip. The 23 gram version is 7.2 millimeters by 47 millimeters, and the 25 gram version is 7.4 millimeters by 49 millimeters. Finally, the 80% version comes in ranges of 22 up to 25 grams in one gram increments. Also available in 18 and 20 gram soft tip, as are all the other darts. The 22 gram version is 6.6 millimeters by 49 millimeters. And the 25 gram version is 6.9 millimeters by 51 millimeters. So a little bit of leeway in between the weights. Um, as I said before, if you did want to see all of the information on these darts, they'll be available at premierdarts.co.uk. Moving on now from the Michael Smith range, but also talking about some different darts. Um, on the Euro Tour a couple of weeks ago, just after the announcement of Michael Smith going two shot, um, there was a Euro Tour event and we actually had two other players using two different darts and quite big players as well. Um, the first one was Nathan Aspinall. He was using a slightly modified version of his current darts, similar you know, in shape, similar in terms of the grip. Um, the only real change I could spot was that the front section had sort of like a knurled sort of coating. There wasn't rings, there was some vertical cuts, some black paint I believe, and then like a little bit of like knurling type sort of look to it. So um, quite an interesting different look there for the Asp. Uh, again, whether they'll come out or not, I don't know. I know a lot of people have been asking for his newer darts, which are basically the same as his originals, just with some red paint. Um, maybe Target are trying to change up the second version of his darts slightly, so when they bring out a Gen 2, there's a bit more reason to buy it. Um, that might be the reason. So he could be going through some prototypes for that. Talking prototypes, it was also confirmed whilst Ryan Searle was playing in the Euro Tour by Loxley Darts on their Twitter. Um, if you want to know more information about this, I'm sure Loxley will be willing to answer some questions. So go and check them out on Twitter at Loxley Darts. They confirmed that Ryan Searle was using a prototype of a 34 gram dart. That's right, a 34 gram dart. Um, two grams heavier than what he usually throws. Uh, as everyone probably knows that Ryan Sell throws the heaviest darts in the PDC and he's getting heavier, 34 grams. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting to see that. The darts did look a little bit different, looked a little bit less grippy. Um, had a bit of red paint on there, quite interesting looking darts, quite unique looking. Um, so yeah, really interesting change there from Ryan Sell. I do believe he did say in an interview a couple of years ago now that um, he wanted to go heavier, but I think he hit sort of like a patch of form where he just didn't want to change. So um, whether that's now he sort of found he's dropped off a little bit and he wants to change now, that might be the reason for it. Um, obviously, you don't really want to change while you're playing through a really good spell. So that might be the reason why it took him so long to test out a 34 gram prototype. Obviously, he did try out some black coated darts in the past as well. I believe they were still 32 grams, though. But yeah, really interesting to see that Ryan Searle's darts are getting even heavier. And also speaking of Loxley darts, we've had two new Loxley darts launched this week. Once again, available at premierdarts.co.uk, we have two darts for uh, Stefan Belmont and also Robbie Knops. Starting with the Stefan Belmont darts, these are available in 23 and also 18.5 grams. I assume the 18.5 grams is because that is the weight that Stefan Belmont throws, I'm not 100% sure, but um, it is a bit of a weird, you know, weight breakdown, so I'd assume 23 grams is just like, you know, a popular version for retail, and then 18.5 is actually the playing weight. The 18.5 gram version is 6.15 millimeters wide by 47.1 millimeters long, and the 23 gram version is 6.3 millimeters wide by 51.5 millimeters long. Um, they come with uh, three darts, three sets of short Loxley stems, and also some Loxley white 150 micron flights, I believe they are, if they're the same as the previous ones. Along the barrel, they feature a pretty fine micro sort of razor cut but not too deep so it won't be overly grippy um, at the top and the bottom of the dart and then in the middle they feature like a really wide cut um, razor style grip um, the cuts seem to be diagonal like you would see on a razor grip but at the top of the rings the rings are actually really wide similar to what you would see in an adrian lewis sort of barrel so um, it'd be quite interesting to see what the grip level of these darts are i do believe they probably wouldn't be too grippy um, but yeah, grip pretty much across the whole of the barrel apart from right at the rear where you have the logo section. So remains to be seen what they're like, but um, they do look like a really nice dart. Um, I will say at $44.95, maybe a little bit expensive for what they are, but nowadays for you know sets of darts, $44.95 is pretty reasonable, um, especially for a smaller brand such as Loxley. Um, I don't think you can really expect anything for £45 or less anymore, so you know, pretty reasonable price, but um, 
you know, sometimes it is a bit annoying when darts like this in the past probably used to cost like £30, but that's just the way it is at the moment. Moving on to what was probably the more, you know, exciting dart of the launch, um, the more, you know, hyped dart of the launch, people were really, really excited about this one, and I can absolutely see why, because it's a stunning looking dart. It is the Robbie Knopps dart, available in 22, 23 and 24 grams, uh, gold coated, features a ring grip at the front, uh, and then at the rear it has some like sort of semicircular cuts along some rings, I don't think it really provides too much grip. But um, the main ring grip section is at the front where it's very similar to a Bristow style dart. What I do find interesting is the gold coating is within the grooves at the rear of the dart. But then at the front of the dart it's actually on the actual rings themselves and not within the grooves. So really interesting looking dart. You don't often see darts that are gold coated with silver recuts. So something a little bit different. Uh, they come supplied with a short Loxley stem and also the really, really nice looking sort of gold effect feather flights from Loxley. Um, really, really nice looking darts, really nice looking packaging, just absolutely striking. As I said before, available in 22, 23 and 24 grams. Uh, the 22 gram version is 6.5 millimetres wide by 48 millimetres long. 23 gram version 6.6 millimetres wide by 48 millimetres long. And the 24 gram version is 6.8 millimetres wide by 48 millimetres long. So... A 48mm long barrel, uh, which is also one of the reasons why these darts were so hyped, because I think a lot of people are now sort of starting to look at using the slightly shorter straight barrel dart. And um, me personally, I use a 48mm straight barrel dart, and um, you don't really see too many of them on the market, so it's nice to see you know, some of these darts come out on the market. Just a little note on the Robbie Knopps darts. Thank you to Brian Lewis at Brian Lou on Twitter for sending me some information about these darts. Um, he said they're really nice, really well machined, and the coating is also really nice looking as well. Um, he prefers a 22 gram 48 millimeter straight barrel, and it's also not too chunky feeling. I think sometimes that is the case when you're looking for a slightly shorter barrel; they can get a little bit chunky. So, uh, as I mentioned, if you want, you know, the shorter straight barrel, not too chunky feeling, these darts could be for you. Um, so yeah, thank you to Brian for sending me that information. Really, really appreciated. In the future, if you want a little shout out on the podcast, I will be putting up some talking points of the podcast before we do record. So um, if there's any information you guys want to offer, make sure you go and follow me at Matador Darts on Twitter and uh, send me any information that you have about anything that we tweet about. I'm not 100% sure, but if I was to hazard a guess, I'd believe Robbie Knotts probably used a Rob Cross dart, just purely because the dimensions are very similar and obviously you've got a very similar looking ring grip. Whether that's true or not, I'm not 100% sure, but if you like the Rob Cross darts, uh, but you want something a little bit more fancy looking, these would probably be right down your street. Um, you know, a nice gold coating, but also that shorter, slightly wider, you know, ring grip barrel. Um, they do retail for £61.95, but I do believe for the look of the barrel, um, you know, the gold coating and stuff, it's probably worth it in today's market. Uh, once again, available at premierdarts.co.uk. Talk about shout outs on the podcast. We're going to try and do a question of the episode and then hopefully go over some of them in future episodes. Obviously, because we want to, you know, show off you guys what you do, what you know. A lot of people are very, very knowledgeable and also very obsessive sometimes about, um, you know, darts collections, you know, darts in general, how they fly, the technical aspects of darts, the machining of darts, how darts look, everything like that. So, the question of the week this week is something really simple. What is your match dart setup? What do you use in a game when it comes to darts? You're going out, playing in a tournament, going to the pub. What darts are you going to be taking in your case with you? Let us know the darts themselves, the weight, the flights and stems you use, and also the points if you have changed them as well. What we'll do is we'll retweet the best ones on Twitter, at Matters or Darts, and we'll also shout some out on the podcast as well. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope just hearing my voice hasn't been too boring for you. I will say thank you if you have made it this far into the podcast. Also, thank you to everyone who's been really supportive of the launch of this podcast. When I tweeted out about it, it got a fair few retweets and likes compared to my normal post. So really, really happy with the response to this. Hopefully, this first episode hasn't disappointed. I would like to say thank you to premierdarts.co.uk for all their support on this podcast. They've really helped me out with some of the information for some of these darts as well. Um, so a huge thank you to them. Make sure you listen out in the future because we're going to have some exclusive exclusive discounts and offers coming from premier darts in terms of this podcast so you will only be able to get them by listening to the podcast so make sure you go and check them out on twitter at premier darts make sure you go and give them a follow and also check out the website as well premierdarts.co.uk 
if you want to come on the podcast yourself, whether you have something to talk about, whether that's like, you know, old darts, um, I've had a few people get in contact with some discussion points, um, whether you want to suggest something to talk about on the podcast or whether you want to come on the podcast and talk about it yourself, make sure you let me know, tag me or DM me at Matters or Darts, or if you don't have Twitter, send me an email, matterdor.darts180 at gmail.com. Well, sorry for waffling on a little bit, but you kind of have to when you're doing a solo podcast. As I said before, I'd like to thank anyone who's listened this far. If you're listening to this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so down below. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. Obviously leave a like if you did enjoy because it helps push this video out to more people who haven't subscribed to my channel. And obviously leave a comment down below of anything you want to talk about in DAS equipment, something you want me to talk about in the next episode, equipment you've been using and things like that. It would be really great um, to have your comments down below. If you're listening on Spotify, make sure you do follow the Talking Tungsten podcast on Spotify. That'd be hugely appreciated. And Jay guys, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. We'll be back soon with another Talking Tungsten podcast. Bye-bye.